YouTube, it's Brian Phillips here again. Coming back with the Phoenix V2 by Blantix RC here. Catalog item number 759-2. We're going to be using the uh, Redcon uh, C CM703. This is a 7 channel um, receiver, DSMX with a uh, satellite and uh, get this stuff from Banggood. Check the link in the description below. I'm going to be using a Zippy Compact 2200 3S. That's a 60C pack. The Zippy Compact, Turnigy, Heavy Duty, they're pretty much the exact same packs. I think Heavy Duty has just a, maybe another wrap in there, if that, of this uh, white plastic stuff. Uh, XT60 end. Voltage alarm. Again, check the description. These things work great. I swear by them. They're super cheap. You can get like five or six of them. Just have them always around. We're going to be using the stock configuration on this thing. Um, DX18 Gen 1. And we're going to start by getting decals on this thing. And then we're going to do radio setup as we go. We are leaving the factory servos in here, which is probably not a great idea. Uh, if you expect this thing to survive the toils and rigors of me flying, <laughs> you may want to put in Turnigy, or excuse me, not Turnigy, but uh, Emacs Metal Gear. They're actually a 12 or 13 gram servo in a 9 gram servo size because they're Metal Gear. Okay, so the assembly of this thing is really simple, and so for that reason, I'm going to jump straight into the decals. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by how not changlish this manual is, and I've had a lot of people that give me negative feedback about changlish. They don't understand what it means, probably because they don't speak English as their first language. If it's written in English, it does not necessarily mean it's written in English. Yes, that is a sarcastic way of saying if you can't read it, it's not actually English just because they use the right letters. Now, one thing I'm not crazy about in this manual, and you'll notice it in the Volantex lineup, is that they show images of other models. And that it can be confusing, especially to the noobs, okay? 77 plus or minus 5 millimeters CG from the leading edge, okay? That's important. That might come up at some point. I usually just scan through these manuals before I start a build. Same thing, doesn't show this particular plane, so it can get a little bit confusing. And then, of course, the uh, proverbial safety checklist. Um, rise off, ground take off. Yeah, you're probably not going to do that with this plane. Not unless you have something to uh, set it on, which, incidentally, you can do that, uh, but just probably not by default and on the stock landing gear. All right, great. So now that we've talked about those quick things, the first page that you come to is actually page 3 of 16. Shows where the decals go, which is super nice. You don't always get that. Now, the other thing you can do is you can look at the box. My box is already stowed away, so we're not going to be doing that. Okay, so it says 4, vertical tail. Okay, so now you just have to differentiate between these little swooshes, and you'll need to have two of them for this spot. Okay, 1, two not the same these are the same okay these are the same similar size okay these are the same excuse me these are not the same these are the same and the reason I go through this is to show you kinda of what I what I go through when I'm figuring out my process of elimination so this one here looks pretty similar okay so this is gonna be for the wings okay because they're the biggest and incidentally, I do have my wings. I just have them sitting over here. By the way, I'm running out of headroom so bad, guys. You know how I keep doing these build videos? It's not just for me. <laughs> I need room for planes. Look, I have planes spilling out. And if you really want to see a disgusting sight, check this out. The kids have been playing. They made a mess. This happens when you have children. Look at this. This is our moving room. Yeah, that's, that's a, not a selling feature. And look. More planes, guys. Planes everywhere. This is literally a problem I have. I have this beautiful new one. Check out the uh, flight of that thing. It's beautiful. Viper by Horizon Hobby there. Okay, so you'll notice I had that wing already assembled. Uh, it makes it really easy to get it around the house. Okay, if you haven't figured out yet, there's a short receiver and then a longer receiver that goes all the way out. 
that's how you can tell which one of these goes where, okay? So I'm just gonna show you, those are sitting here ready to receive the decals. Of course, you wanna do this uh, prior to getting the control horns on. It makes it a lot easier to get everything done. The other thing is on the other Phoenix, okay? 2.6 meter Evo, comes with a 1.6, 2.6 meter configuration. Of course, I have mine in the 2.6 meter configuration here, all fully assembled. We had some noise issues with this not wanting to stay down. Like I just pushed that down on the elevator. So we're gonna just try our best to mitigate that. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. And it's, it's actually very, very simple. And it's just gonna change the look only very slightly. Also, we're gonna take a little isopropyl alcohol. This is actually not the bottle. What, what's in here is just the cheap crap from the store, uh, from the grocery store. In the medical section, you can get that stuff super, super cheap. And then this stuff is like, I don't know, like 12 bucks, whatever. I'm not gonna spend 12 bucks for that. So I buy like the stuff that's a dollar. You get a little bit more white residue, but who cares? Okay, so now that we've done our quick rundown, we obviously know kinda the general idea. Each control surface is gonna have uh, the larger swooshes. Looks like this one has a black part there. They all kind of have that black part. Okay, so this looks like it might be on the vertical stabilizer. You see what I'm doing? I'm just looking at the shape. Okay, so we're gonna call that for the vertical stabilizer. And uh, of course, this is our vertical stabilizer. So we're just gonna grab the clear. And this is an extremely sharp knife, so I usually stab myself when I start using these in videos. I don't even know if I'm gonna use alcohol on this thing. I think it's just kind of a waste of time, unless you have problems. Oh, dang it, that son of a gun stuck back on itself. Lucky for us, these are very sturdy decals. Okay, so obviously we have this one ready to go, and looking at it, oh yeah, Volantex. Thank you very much. Look, it doesn't go over the seam. So intelligent. I'm very happy about that, guys. Seriously. This doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's details like that that make the V2 better than the V1. It's just small little details. Okay, so that looks pretty. Okay, so we'll get ready to do the other one. And we want to make sure we get the same one, so it looks like it's going to most definitely be this one here. Mostly concerning ourselves with the scale, because the size is going to be... Oh, geez, look at that. We had a... We had a, a defect in that decal. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it back down and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna deal with that. Okay, first thing, I haven't had this happen for a very long time. I'm gonna just grab this clear tape. We're gonna peel it off till we get to clean stuff, which means we're gonna waste a lot. That's life in the big city. We're gonna waste like, you know, one tenth of a cent worth of product here. Okay, and we're just gonna tape straight across it, okay? Don't even think about it, just do it. And then we're going to cut that, and when we lift it off, we'll have to take the other half of the tape and get that cut as well. And what we'll do is we'll get these decals applied. Okay, so guys, um, I'm sorry it's been so long since we, we had a video on this. I try not to make the series drag out like that, and uh, if you're a fan of the channel, if you've been subscribed for a while, you know that I'm pretty faithful about getting my projects done. Uh, not necessarily always in the most timely, punctual manner, but I do not leave things undone. And so I know you guys, my regular subscribers, you know I was gonna get this done eventually, but I do wanna try to be true to the people who send these things for me to review too. We've been just so busy with the house. And so, look how nice that looks, guys can't even tell it broke and that was the whole idea of leaving it on the backing and I didn't even cut that tail I'm just gonna leave it there because it looks fine there we go all right so that's the first step now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next item which in this case we'll do the horizontal stabilizer which these are a little bit uh, more stout looking so we'll grab those we'll just grab one uh, looks like we got a little bit of red coloration that got mixed up on that. Again, we're talking about a decal. I mean, I really, 
it's not a super critical thing on this plane, but visibility, you guys will be amazed how much these, these decals help with visibility. And uh, I may add some more decals similar to what we did on the Volantex. We do, you know, like these black marks on the bottom here. And there's black marks up here. It helps to see the wing tips because obviously unless you're flying inverted, you're not going to always see these as you're going around enjoying the plane. Okay, so it's definitely this one here. And I always like to double check. And I always wonder about the whole decal video, guys. It's, it's such a self-explanatory thing. So let me just apologize in advance if you find it boring to watch somebody decal the plane. The cool thing is I will do my very best to link to each of the steps. Um, if I do a combination video like this, this is probably going to be like the decals. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go ahead and do the radio setup separately. And the assembly is just so dang simple. Wow, it looks really nice, doesn't it? Okay, so it's super easy. Um, if I was really concerned, I would trim this, which I'll just go ahead and trim it. There's a little piece of a molding imperfection here. It's actually not a molding imperfection. It's a trimming imperfection because they... Uh, they fill in these injection molds and then somebody has to trim them well they didn't trim it all the way but it i mean it's still well within tolerances for this type of product line i mean look at the cost basis on this thing it's super cheap okay so now we've got phoenix v2 that's printed here and it looks like the swoosh goes here um so these these are are clearly the the swooshes because these are going to be for the main wings so i just need to figure out which one i need first looks like the black goes up so in this case, the black goes up and it's favoring that way. So it's this one's upside down. So I'm going to grab it, at least relative to the way our fuse is sitting. And guys, these uh, these Volantix decals are actually pretty nice. Um, some of these Chinese models come with really crappy decals. And uh, in this case, this is I've been super impressed with everything on Volantix except for and I'm going to list them off, and you're going to think, well, Brian, you just listed a lot of stuff. Well, it's better than a lot of the other Chinese brands. Here's the thing. The motors seem to have kind of a fatal flaw. Um, if you get one of these and the motor does well, then I don't know. If you're like me, you're going to end up putting in something bigger, and you're going to expect more of it than it should be producing, like putting on a bigger prop or something to this extent. Okay, now, if you ever have to take out the tray, you'll have to poke through that. That's no biggie. There's like, what the heck is that? There's a little something on there. You know what that is? I bet that came from my kids. Ugh. They must have spilled, like, chocolate milk on there or something. That's gross. Okay, so we're going to move that out of the way real quick. We're just going to see if we can get that off of there. See how hard it is to peel these decals. It's totally gross. Seriously, childrens? Come on now. So how the heck am I going to get that off? I'm going to use a blade, scrape it, scrape it, scrape it, scrape it, scrape it, and back down. There you go. Never going to notice it again. <laughs> Except knowing me, I'll notice it. Okay, so we got that on there. Now we got to do the Phoenix V2, which is here. Obviously, this one's for the wing. These ones are significantly smaller. So we're going to grab those off. So anyway, what I was saying is uh, the the products, the portions of the Volantix lineup that are not good would be the plastic gear servos, which can be easily upgraded to, and to be honest with you, you know, some people, they'll buy these things, they'll fly them three, four times, and they're done. Well, like me, I'll fly them like a hundred times, and then I'll crash them, and then I'll fix them. So not everybody does that, and so, you know, you've got a certain audience you're trying to please and if your audience doesn't do ooh, we got a number back here on the boom see this number on the boom one of these doesn't matter which one they're the same okay so we can go ahead and slap that on about mid mast that's mid mast enough for me and I push the middle then I walk it up then I walk it down and then I pull to the edges, and look how that actually looks pretty sweet. Huh. 
Okay, cool. So we're going to flip this over and uh, hit her from the other side. <clears throat> All right, so same thing goes. Looking for chocolate that may have got underneath the label. How did my kids get chocolate under the label or under the sticker? That's ridiculous. Okay, so the black goes to the rear and up. And it looks like the front point should be right underneath that screw hole. Okay, and then we'll just walk this down. Okay, so what else is crappy on the Volantix lineup? And, and when I say crappy, I mean subpar from, you know, like your Horizons of the World or your, you know, higher quality planes. Elevator rudder servo. Those are, you only got one of them, okay? There's only one of each, right? But you've got a wing, you got two ailerons, so you have a redundant control. Um, and some would say, well, but then you're not going to roll as fast. Yeah, but you can still roll the plane, just be slower. You can always mix in some extra rudder and fix that too. Okay, so now obviously this is going to be up here, just like so. Just slap that baby on there. Man, it looks really good for how quick and easy this is. And we're 16 minutes into this video. What have you been filming, Brian? Jeez. So what else? The motors. Um, if you run a bigger prop, like a 12.7 prop instead of the tw uh, the 10.6, or excuse me, 10.7 instead of the 10.6, you'll load them a little bit more, and they will get warm, and you will eventually kill them if you push the issue. Okay, just a heads up. Um... If you try to run them on 4S, they have the Volantix Fart, which uh, it's the easiest way I can describe it. See this schmutz coming out here? That's the backing, and that's where your isopropyl alcohol comes in really handy. I'm just going to take a little splash of this. Okay. And then watch this. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. Get off of there. Boy, that's actually a piece of tape. Hmm, okay. Got it. Okay, so that looks pretty awesome. So we'll just set this off to the side in our pile of pieces. And then we got to do the wings, which are pretty clearly going to be wing, 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 wing. And that's it. So the ESCs, ironically enough, I don't think the ESCs have any problems. So... I think they're pretty good. It's a 30 amp ESC, which is ironic because I always seem to try to replace the ESC when really I should be trying to replace the motor. And again, this is if you're into overdoing things like me. If you're just using it stock out of the box, you know, no stabilizer, no extra load on the BEC part, um, you probably won't have any issues. Okay, so this, uh oh, got a little separation there. See that, guys? I'm just going to carefully peel that one up. I don't want to have to put tape on that one. See how it folded over on itself there? I'll grab it here in a second. Oh, are you kidding me? Again? You son of a gun. Okay, here we go. We're just going to plop this down somewhat carefully, and I'm going to walk it toward the winglet, sharklet whatever you want to call that thing. And then I'm going to flip this uh, under. Looks like I need to actually go right here. Ooh, that's extras. Cool. Got it off of there. Nice. Looks like they must have had problems with their their jig when they were cutting this out. And ironically, the way that, that that last piece ripped off of there, it kind of ripped nicely. So I might just leave it. You know, and if you're not partial to these decals, nobody's saying you got to use these decals. See, I only lost that little bit. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to get my X-Acto knife and see if I can fix that quick. X-Acto knife. Let's see if we can do it, guys. Just gonna peel this up. 
Okay. Oh, it all came off in one piece. Crazy. That'll be super easy to apply. Okay, line it up. Blammo whammo. Use the knife to guide the decal down. It didn't really work as good as I had hoped, but at 100 miles an hour, 6 inches away from your face, who's ever going to tell? That was a hilarious joke, guys. Okay, now back to the drawing board. We have to figure out which one gets which, so we're just going to take this whole thing with us, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, so we've got here... Looks like we have Phoenix V2 this way, okay? Because they are different. Obviously, one says Volantix, one says Phoenix. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just rip that backing this time. And I do not want this one to split because that was kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm going to walk it carefully. Oopsie. Got the backing there. Ah, oh, son of a gun! All right, well, it's split, so I'm going to have to... Uh, uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man, that stuff is sticky. <clears throat> All right, so this needs to go over here. Well... All I can say is if the if the weak link is the decals, I'll take it. Any airplane of the week. Keating up the adhesive. That's why you rub it. Make a really strong bond to that waxy, mold-releasey styrofoam. All right, here we go, guys. Yes. Yes! Yes, you'll never know, except that you watched it on video. Who is that weirdo? There we go. All right, so now the other side. You guys hear that? You won't hear that later. But if you do, super easy. Put a piece of clear tape around it until it's tight. Feed it through and you're golden. All right, so now the other wing, and we're almost done. See, some of this stuff, you know, it's like if you guys are anything like me, you get a plane, you're getting all excited, you're thinking, oh, I gotta track it, I gotta track it, I gotta track it, I gotta tell when it's gonna be there so I can so I can leave work early and go home and meet it and make sure nobody screws with it. Of course nobody ever screws with it at my house. And um, except for maybe my kids dropping chocolate on them. Um, and then you're like, oh gotta get home, gotta get home. And then I get home and I look at it. And I think, no, I'm no, I'm not gonna do it tonight. So I don't have enough time to do it. <laughs> and it turns into this vicious cycle of, oh, no, I don't want to do it tonight because of this or that. And next thing you know, it's a week later, and you're thinking, why was I tracking it like a crazy person? I don't know if you're like me. Maybe that's a 60-plane hump that I'll get over. Oh, you almost folded it over. How come this one's going so much easier? Okay, so I'm going to... Just double check, make sure I'm not egregiously placing it. Ooh, differently than the other side. Eh, I don't like that being right on the edge, guys. Just carry it down just a little bit. Okay, now, you guys, you remember I was talking about the Volantex farts from the motors? You get the same thing from the decals if you're not careful. Meaning if you try to stretch this um, plasticky vinyl stuff too much, what will happen is it will peel here and it will make a nasty noise as it's flying and it will create a tremendous amount of drag, almost like the aileron. So check for it once in a while. In fact, I can demonstrate. I bet you it's doing it on this wing. Oh, uh, which one is it? One of them likes to do it. And uh, you'll have to, yep, yeah, see this guys? Look. See that? You got to check that before you get up there. But see, they designed this V2 better in that the leading edge is all one big piece. Awesome! See, one piece. Comes back, goes over, it's all one piece. So the wind won't catch this back one. Cool. 
Good call, Volantix. You guys are thinking of everything. Congratulations. Where the heck is this thing scored at? All right, there it is. I got the end. So everybody, um, as you are fully aware, if you're part of this normal channel experience, Brian Phillips, RC, on YouTube here. If you're not, you should be. But we're building a new house. We're excited about it. We've been sharing a lot about it. It's more of like a complex we're building for RC excitement. Well, that's maybe not what my wife would say. But I'm saying it. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Yes. Very nice. Oh, yes. Okay, so now, what we have to do is we have to make the decision as to how we want to do the assembly. The assembly of which will not be too hard. It's actually mostly hooking up the wiring. Um, so probably what we're going to do, guys, reluctantly, this is going to be the decal video. And the next video is going to be the video where we actually assemble everything. So this will be like build video part one. And uh, there'll be more to come. You just wait and see. It's going to be awesome. And you're going to be like, are you kidding me? I just watched a 26 minute video on putting decals on. And you'll say, yes, I did. And it was awesome. Come back for more, guys. Thanks for watching. Check the links below. Buy your very own today. There's some awesome specials. I think we have a link with a little discount going today. And uh, so check it out. See if it meets your fancy. You can get your very own and follow along the process. Take all of the 27 minutes it took me to put these decals on. Thanks for watching.